So for every shot in golf, there's a ball and a target, and you've got to be able to find your target line, okay? And there's no lines on the ground. It's just an imaginary line. And uh, you got to stand far enough back from the ball so that you can see both objects at the same time. Once you've got both objects in sight, you can hold your shaft on the ball and the target and run your dominant eye down that shaft. Somewhere on the ground, about two feet in front of that golf ball, is going to be an object that represents your target while you're standing straight over the ball, okay? Because about four or five feet on either side of the ball, my peripheral vision stops and I can't see the target, okay? So if, I, if you get a golfer that's playing without the intermediate target, they put the club in, they look up, then they look down, then they look up, and then they look down, and they think that they're square, okay? but they don't know for sure. But when I stand into this shot, now that I have the intermediate target there, I know that my face has to point at that intermediate target. I walk in holding the club with my right hand so that I can continue to take in all the information. I've got to load my computer with as much data about this shot as I can. I walk in with the left hand on the club. You see I'm turning my back to the target, okay? Even though I'm trying to stay open, as soon as I reach in, now my back goes to the target, and I've just shut myself off from information, okay? So you always walk in holding a club with your trailing hand, and you're always looking at the ball and the target. You're feeling the wind. You're assessing everything, okay? Um, you've done most of that before you've picked out your intermediate target. Today we've got a wind that's coming across from left to right. So we've got to play with the wind. So we've got to aim a little bit to the left and let the wind put, bring the ball. You've played enough golf to think that way for that much through already. Okay. Um, when you walk in, you have your intermediate target, the ball. You place your right foot in line with the ball. Now I've got a right angle established. Okay. You see how it's the intermediate target line on the ball and my foot line. So you have something square out there in the middle of the golf course because in the middle of the golf course, the designers, they don't want you to know what straight is out there. They put dog legs in there. They, they cockeye the tee boxes. They do everything to mess with your ability to be able to set up for a straight shot. So you find your right angle by placing yourself in the shot correct. Then from there, before you take your stance, Grab hold of the club and place the face so that it points at the ball and the intermediate target. Okay? Left foot goes in front, right foot drops back. Find your ball position. Ball position for any full swing shot is right at the sternum. All right? So for your pitching wedge through your seven iron is pretty much right at the sternum. As the club shaft gets longer, the ball position moves further forward <coughs> on a flat line in a perfect world with perfect hand speed. Okay, everybody's different. But we've got to start from somewhere. You play the ball behind center, the ball's going to be struck with um, a de-lofted face. That would be a great position to play a ball out from underneath a tree because you can see how low that ball goes. Okay? <clears throat> can you bring some... So ball position for your lower clubs are going to be um, middle of your stance. Your driver position is always off of the left shoulder, okay? And the left shoulder is going to be off of the left toe, okay? Um, your heels are underneath your hip sockets and with foot flare, which you need so that the ankles, knees, and hips can rotate back and through. If I was pigeon-toed, can you see how that would lock me up, okay? So the toes are flared. You want to be hitting the driver right as the club bottoms out, okay, which is off of the left shoulder, all right? That's the apex of the swing. Just before that, everything on the ground, you hit just prior to the apex, okay? But the driver is on a tee, so you're hitting it up, okay? So you hit it at the low point. So the driver's played that far forward. So we've got on the ground right there about, I don't know, seven, eight inches, okay? We've got 14 clubs in our bag. So if you really wanted to split hairs, you could move the ball half an inch forward for every club in your bag, okay? But we're splitting hairs when we're out there on the golf course. We're on different lies. We've got ball below our feet. We've got ball above our feet. We've got one ball that we're tilted this way. We've got one ball where we're tilted that way. The only way where you can really find out where your true ball position is for that shot at hand 
is to step back from the shot, stay on the same Y, take some good practice swings on that Y, and find out where is the club bottoming out in relationship to your feet. Okay? Then, you saw that one just bottomed out right about where my heel is. I'm going to take another one, check it, yep. So when I step into this shot here, club face points at the ball and the intermediate target, left foot, right foot. I know that the club was one club head width off of my left heel, okay? So that's where I want to play this shot, all right? Now, <clears throat> I was one and a half inches below the surface, okay? So that's different than where I am right now. That would that have a big effect on the ball because the ball is just 1.68 inches in diameter, okay? All right, um, so stand on the same Y as your shot. Find out where that club is bottoming out with a good swing, okay? Not a bad swing, all right? And then know where that ball placement is for that shot, okay? There's no two shots alike in golf, all right? So you'll never have, uh, you'll, you know, with repetition, just stay with the standard. No full swing is behind the center, and then, uh, you don't, never want to get anything outside of the left foot either, okay? But you continue to move in increments towards the left foot. So your hybrids would be off the left heel. Your fairway width would be off the left arch. And then your um, driver left toe, <clears throat> okay? Club face points at the ball. Left foot, right foot. Got your ball position. We've taken hold. I haven't gone over the grip yet for you. Weight's a little bit left. Okay. When you swing back and swing through, you're staying over the top of the ball for anything that's on the ground. So you see how my head's still on top of that ball? I've turned back, but I haven't shifted back. Okay. All right. So I'm getting into the pivot. But that's alignment <coughs> with a bad swing. Um, any questions on that? So you can't play a golf shot without an intermediate target. Okay. If um, when you pull the card up to the tee box or you drive the card up to the ball and you hop out and you just walk right up to your ball and you put the club head down and you don't go through this footwork, you're just going to be adding strokes to your score, okay? So don't pull up to the ball. Always pull up about two carts behind the ball. Grab your clubs and walk up to the ball shot from behind, okay? If you see somebody that does step right up to the ball, up the bat, okay? Because they don't know where that shot's going, okay? As best that you can guess, just increments of inches right here, like quarter inches, is yards out there, okay? Good. Once you have yourself set up, um, depending on the shot shape that you want, your feet, knees, hips, and shoulders are parallel to the target line, okay? If you want to push the ball out to the right, you close yourself down, okay? If you want to pull the ball off to the left, you open yourself up to the target line. Your arms are always going to swing along the line of your body, okay? So if I'm here parallel to that target line, you see how my arms are swinging back and through on that target line? All right, so that way my arms are going to swing to the right, okay? And so it's going to have a right influence on that ball. If the face is just a little bit to the left of that right influence, I'll start the ball out to the right and bring it back to the left. Okay? And then the same for a shot where if you want to go around to the tree from the left to the right, I'm open, point the face just a little bit to the right of my open stance. And I swing around my stance line and I can go from right to left to right. Okay? by placing the body and the club face, okay? All right, but what I showed you for alignment was initially square. For a straight shot in golf, which is the hardest shot to hit, okay? All right, so that's alignment. Any questions? Well, I'd like to say it'll be on video.